the impact of the ball you have. When you hit the ball and you're in control of the ball, so like when you're in a really in a good position, it goes deep, it goes with a punch, you know, like there's a little juice in it. So this is really good. Um, I think you can make it even better by focusing a little bit more on loading the front leg. So, okay, when you, whether you play close stance or open stance, like when you play close stance or on forehand and backhand, you put a little bit more weight, but also focus, yeah? So the focus that you are loading the leg and really still having that impact, okay? And then letting your body be pulled by that, by that loading of the leg. And when you hit open stance, it's the same. If you, if you load the right leg, also load it and then push through it forward, okay? Can you show me what you just... Yes, exactly. And back, uh, back end? Is that what you want? Yeah. Perfect. And then, and then from that position, yeah, so you, you go and you let your body be pulled, okay? Good, very good quality. It's much better. Nice. Okay, How do you feel your legs? <laughs> yeah, they're getting tired or not? No, it's harder for my legs because I had two knee surgeries. Oh, last, really? Oh. Yeah. When? Last in last March and then another one in November. Okay. Which one? Both yes. of them? Or this one? So, is it painful when you do that? Or? No. No, it's okay? Okay, so maybe that explains also why you are not using your legs so much. Because you get used to play without involving too much. But yeah, but in tennis you'll have to anyway. Yeah. And if, in a way, if you just do what you're doing at the moment, like load every time, you're also building your muscles and this is going to protect your knee, so that's good. If you know, don't have pain, that's great. Are they tired? Are they getting tired or not? No, they're okay now. They're okay now? Okay, yeah. perfect. Uh, okay, let's do a few more. Yeah. Okay, so for me, between the start and now, you already improved from there from here to there, so it's great. Congrats, really good. And you had a great advice. Um, let's add something more now, because I feel like this already you're doing well. You keep it in mind, of course. It's the preparation. When do you prepare? And when has the preparation, when does it, does it have to be finished? Okay? Um, so, the ball comes from the other side. It bounces here. And the moment the ball bounces, you have to be ready to hit it. So it's not time to prepare. It's too late. And I show you why. Take your forehand. Forehand. Okay. Ready? You prepare. Exactly. I'm the ball. Okay. You don't really hit. Huh? You stop before hitting me. Ready? Okay. I'm the ball. I, I'm bouncing. Ready? Hit me. Very good. Okay. Now do what you usually do. You stay here. The, I'm the ball. I'm bouncing. Now you prepare. You're late. Okay, so that's why, do it the right way now. I'm bouncing, yes. Okay, so two options now. Option one, I'm bouncing here. Ready? I'm bouncing. Okay, you have time? Yeah. What are you doing? Okay. Yeah, you prepared already. What, what's next? Go ahead, go, do it. Pre no, no, prepare. Prepare, you ready? I'm bouncing, go. Yes, and now you can hit, perfect. Okay, second option. Ready? I'm bouncing. Prepare before I bounce. Bounce, yes. Perfect. Understand? Yeah. Clear? Okay, now I do it with the ball. Ready? Great. Ready? Perfect. That's exactly it. Let's do it. She's very good because she gets it straight away. And that first of all, it's, it's 10 times better. Huh? I don't know how you feel, but it looks really good. Get, get ready. Okay, let's do it again. You prepare. Okay. Ready to hit? Go, go, go. Okay. Here, can you have your body like Sandra asked you? No, no, no. It was perfect. Stay the way you are. But do you feel like you can, you can really have your body weight go through, right? Here. Yeah. Okay. Now go back. Now, if you prepare late and the ball is fast, you're going to hit here. Can you have your body in? No. no. I'm pushing you, you don't push me. Here you can push me. Okay? In order to push me, you have, you have the contact point always there. So your body weight can go through. And for that, you need to prepare early, otherwise I'm going to control you and you want to control me. Okay? So control those ones now. 
So good. Great. Is there something you want, you would like to work on or you have no idea? For now, I guess my footwork and the coordination when I play because I didn't play for almost a year. Okay. So the footwork and coordination so I can find better zones so I can go in and attack more. Okay. That's uh, good. You have a very clear idea about what you want to do and when you want to achieve on the course. So that's perfect. We're going to work on your movement. Perfect. You go back every time. So she's going to give you one forehand, one backhand every time. So you always come back here. You hit your forehand, boom, you come back, up, split step, and then backhand. And you do a few like that, okay? Not bad at all. I, I like that you, the early preparation, you already get it also when you, when you move. That's really good because not everyone can pick up thing, things, new things like that and, and keep it. Very good. Um, when she feeds you, consider that the opponent is hitting the ball, okay? So, Whenever the, wherever you are on the court, when the opponent is hitting the ball, you have to stop for one millisecond. But this millisecond is important because you take the information and then you decide to go this way or this way. Okay. I know you know the ball is going to go this way, but pretend you don't know. So you hit your back end, you come back, split step. So split step, you always have this distance between your feet. Why? Because two things. First, because you have a great balance and with a great balance you can go either here or here if you're here you know the balance is not great so that's why you're here you lower your legs and you balance okay so this and then you decide to go great good i just add one thing it's, it's really good huh? honestly i'm surprised that you you get the thing so fast you prepare much earlier, but I would like to, you to prepare first. Like, you're here, you move there. The first thing you do is your shoulders. You see, when I turn my shoulders, I already did half of the preparation. So hop, and then you can move. Okay? Let's go. Yes. Great, so early. Good job. I think your movement is good, huh? Really, huh? I don't have anything to say about your movement, yeah. I would like to hit a bit, have a bit more spin on the forehand. Can we do that? Yeah? So, just think about this. Once you have the ball in the racket, in the racket, yeah. No, no, wait. you hit a forehand, yeah, exactly. I want you to feel this, okay? Do it, okay? No, 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 don't move, I move, you don't move. This movement, okay? You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah exactly. You ready? Hit, prepare. Yes. Go for it. Yeah. Good. Thank you. Very good. Again. Same. Very good. Oof. So good. Let's move now. Having this also. Adding, adding that spin. Good. Excellent. So this, is, this was very good because you prepared very early. You were here. Just make sure that you're able to, to load on your legs and use it to push forward on this one also. Load, push. Load, good. Increase the distance between your feet. You know, ball is far, ball is deep. Here you want a great balance because if you push without having a great balance, you can push anywhere. Okay, here, solid and then go. Great shot. Yes. That's amazing. Super good. Super good. Okay, we need we need to release that wrist a little bit. So that's that's again very good, but we, we know how we are. We want perfect. So we're gonna still be on you until we get exactly what we want. Okay, so it's a million times better already, but as I said, we want the next level, okay. The thing you can improve is, as I told you, this wrist 
effect, okay? And the, I mean, actually, it's funny because when I told you to put some spin on my hand, you, you did it with your arm, <laughs> okay? And the wrist has a very important effect on the, on the spin, you know? If you look at the slow motion of all the top players, you look at their forehand slow motion, you see that the wrist is doing completely that. It's free. And because it's free, it's like a whip, you know? When it comes back, it comes back so fast. And this, because it goes from down to up, it creates a lot of spin. So what I'm going to tell, ask you to do is going to feel weird at the, at the start, but then you'll get used to it. Don't think about where the ball is going. It can go in the second floor there. I don't care. What I would like to see is this completely free. And for that, you're going to release your wrist. You know, how, how much pressure do you put on your grip when you play? You have an idea? Seven? Seventy percent. Okay, seven out of ten. Okay. So let's go down to three or four. Prepare. Great! Woo! Love it. Oh uh, yeah. How does it feel? That you can't miss a shot. Yeah. It's a good feeling, no? Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's do some more. Great! Super. We're gonna do exactly the same. We're just gonna mix the heights. So you're gonna decide with the same acceleration, if you want to play here, here, or here. Okay, this is one, two, three. Remember? I'll tell you before you hit. Three. Great, three again. Okay, stop. Stop. It's great, but you hit, and at the same time, you come back here. No. You hit your shot, and after you do what you have to do. <laughs> one. Stay, stay, stay in your shot, stay in your shot. One. Yes, that's great. Three. Very good. Sometimes I feel that because you want to control, you stop your motion and you feel like, I control better. No, this is how you don't control. To control the shot, you have to keep the ball in the racket and then the hand goes exactly where you want. Okay, if you stop the racket here, then the ball can go anywhere stops okay so this is what you don't want and this is what you want up doesn't matter up up and then i control perfectly okay so don't control let your racket accelerate your hand and let your racket go in the direction where you want to hit okay let's do a few deep ones where you're going to focus on that let go wow let go oh yeah it's much better let go Yes, it's dead night. The only time you miss is just because your legs are moving while you hit the ball. So you lose yeah. balance. <laughs> Let's do a few without moving. Load already here and <laughs> Let's go like this, okay? You can stay, stay around here, yeah. Again, prepare, let go. Yeah, let go. I like it. Let go. Yes! You're going to do exactly the same on your backhand side. So one short, one dip, one short, one dip. That's a great shot. Great shot. Yes. I give you two deep ones, as we just said. One on each corner. You're going to have the down the line dip when you have a short ball to attack. And I give you also a short cross when you attack, shorter. Superb. Great. Oh yeah! Okay, so that's, for me, 100 times better. I still think you can increase a bit the top spin. I have the ball that goes, goes like this over the net and then shop, dives back on the court and then jumps. So for that, the hand, the head of the racket has to go under the ball before it goes higher the ball. You know, it's a bit too much like this. So we're gonna go do a few close to the net so you don't want to hit the net, so you're going to find a way. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Ah, but yeah, she knows how to do it. <laughs> I knew! I knew! Amazing. Congratulations. Fantastic. You keep all this in mind? You have it? Early preparation, load on your legs so your body weight goes through. And this, the work on the, of the head of the racket going under, over the ball, 
with this sound. Yeah. So you have security and power at the same time. Yeah. That's what we want, right? Yeah. Perfect. Good job. Thank you. Thank you. Hey guys, if you enjoyed this video and want more tennis tips, first, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and then follow me on Instagram at Patrick Muratoglu. See you very soon on a tennis court.